Hello everyone. Welcome to the calculator developing series in Android. And till now we have four tutorials in this series in which we have added some functionalities and designed our calculator. So the calculator looks like this and we have added functionalities. You can clear this. You can clear it one by one but there is no functionality added. So in this tutorial we will add some functionality. So the user will enter first value and then press the plus minus multiply divide or any of these buttons so when the plus button is clicked the plus operator will be stored in the op variable and then user will enter second value and then the user will click the equal button or press the equal button and the second value will be stored in the second variable and then the operator will be checked whether the user has pressed the plus minus multiply or divide and based on that the calculation will be done so let's get started first of all <clears throat> so here we need uh, some variables which i have already added here first value second value and result and also we have a character operator so else if v dot get id is equal to r dot id dot if the user enters plus button um, I think its ID was yes addition so do what first value is equal to um, ed result dot get text dot to string but since we have an integer and here we have string so we have to parse that So now it's, it works and since the user has clicked the addition button so op is equal to plus button now next thing you have to do is to check for this means that the now the first value is in this variable and the user has clicked the plus button and now you have to check if the user uh, enters or presses the equal button v dot get id r dot id dot equal to what second value is equal to integer dot ed result dot get text get text dot to string and again we have to parse this integer dot parse int like this and also we have to do one thing more when the user pre presses the plus button so we have to get the value from the from this location which is written here and next thing we have to clear clear it as well so ed result dot set text and then when the user presses the equal button so the second value will be stored in this equal button and we have to switch this operator variable op and now we have case of first case we have plus so if uh, the case is plus means that in op variable we have plus to so do what res is equal to first value plus second value and ed result dot set text is equal to res it might give us error so we concatenate the quotes and let's run this app and see if it works so the application is launched and let's see i want to plus five plus five equals ten yes it works plus ninety it should equal to hundred yes it works plus five hundred it should equal to six hundred yes it works Okay, so clear that. So similarly, you can do this for uh, subtraction, multiplication, and division as well. How? Let's see. So here I have uh, checked for the addition button. 
let's say f as if v dot get id is equal, equal to r dot id dot subtraction so do this copy this and assign the subtraction again copy this paste it here and here multiply i think so let me check the id the id is multiply so i don't know why it's not okay so it works now and assign this and also copy this paste this and divide now copy this cases put a break here in case also put a break here and change this case as well this is minus or subtraction also copy this case and paste it for multiplication and paste it for division as well and now let's change this so here we are doing subtraction here we are doing multiplication and here we are doing division let's run our app the app is launched 5 multiply by 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 3 multiply by 3 is equal to 9 multiply by 3 is equal to 27 uh, divide by 3 is equal to 9 okay I think so there is some mistake in the divide section nope okay let's uh, start from beginning 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 multiply by 3 is equal to 9 divide this divide button is not working we might not have added a connection here so btn divide dot set on click listener this relaunch the app okay the problem is here we have to check this divide and we have already added a connection or set the on click listener now relaunch so the app is launched 5 minus 2 equal 5 minus I think I have made another mistake so the app is launched now 5 minus 2 equals 3 multiply by 3 equals 9 multiply by 3 equals 27 divide by 3 equals 9 plus 1 equals 10 so it is working now now we have to work on the square root and factorial x power 2 and x power y so we have to check whether this uh, SQRT button is clicked so else if v dot get id is equal to r dot id dot sqrt square root so for that purpose we have to create a variable here uh, let's uh, have it uh, end value is equal to et result dot get text dot to string and we also have to parse it integer dot parse int res is equal to um, math dot sqrt so we have to pass the value of double but since the, this sqrt requires the double value so we have to change this accordingly double dot parse double and now it should work and we also have to make this double as well and then ed result dot set text R E double S and concatenate 
quotes and now run our application it should be R E double S this one so the app is launched so 5 square root it is 2.25 clear this and 25 square root it's 5 yeah it's correct so it works now the next thing uh, we have to do is else if v dot get id is equal to so we will work for this x power 2 if it equals to x power 2 so again we have to create x power 2 r dot id dot x power 2 int value is equal to pd result dot get text dot string integer dot parse int and ed result dot set text value multiply by value And concatenate quotes so now uh, x power 2 will uh, uh, multiply the entered value by uh, by the value that, in, that is entered so if with the user enters 2 so 2 2 power 2 is equal to 4 so run this application the application is launched so 6 power 2 means 6 multiplied by 6 it should equal 36 Okay, but it's not working. The value looks looks correct. I don't know why it's not working. So let's rerun the application. So the app is launched. Six. It's thirty six. It works now. And nine power two eighty one. It's correct. Five power two twenty five. It's also correct. So it works now. And now let's do x power y. So else if v dot get id is equal to r dot i dot x power y. So this is also like plus minus multiply divide. So first value is equal to ed result dot get text dot to string. integer dot parts int and op is equal to x power y and ed result dot set text to none and it's a character based operator so let's change it to string so it will work now and will not give any error and also change this And also add another case for the x power y x power y so here resource is equal to is is equal to first value multiply by second value no it's not like this because it will give us error so what we can do is to create our own variable xpy is equal to math math dot power so first value 
comma second value and now it should work and it result like this and, and now let's run our application so you have to x power y and we were working in the x power y so here you have to provide this this x p y here x p y and also make this uh, first and second value double because the math class requires double uh, double variables so run this application now so now uh, 6 power 2 equals to 36 it, uh, it works 5 power uh, 4 equals to 625 yeah it's per perfectly working now so now we have to check if the factorial button is pressed on v.getid r.id.factorial so we get the value double factorial is equal to it is result dot get text dot to string and also do the parsing double dot parse double we need an n type of variable and i is equal to or uh, just yeah and i is equal to one double fact is equal to one and remove this one from the i and now we use for loop so if you know that factorial is uh, the result of the value and the value below that I mean the, the multiplication result of the value and the values below that so for i is equal to 2 i less than equal to fact dot length or just fa uh, fact we don't need length and i plus plus fact multiply by equal to i <coughs> sorry for that and now it is result dot set text fact and concatenate double quotes run our application the application is launched so 3 factorial 6 3 multiply by 2 6 multiply by 1 is equal to 6 now 4 multiply uh, 4 factorial sorry I did a mistake Do this here this 3 factorial is 6 and 4 factorial is 24 4 multiply by 3 mm, 12 12 multiply by 2 is equal to 24 24 multiply by 1 is equal to 1 so this also works so that was all about this calculator I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this tutorial series it was a bit uh, longer and slower tutorial but I hope that you at least you learned something from this tutorial stay tuned more tutorials are coming soon and subscribe to my channel so you will get notifications and you will get more videos to learn something okay so see you in the next tutorial and this is the final tutorial for this calculator development series